Break-even analysis is a widely used management tool. It is the number of units that needs to be sold to have zero profit. It is calculated as follows. Break-even point in number of units sold equals fixed costs divided by contribution margin per unit. The break-even point can also be expressed as how much revenues need to be generated to have no losses. This number can be calculated in two different ways. First, multiply the number of units at the break-even point by the sales price per unit. Or second, use the contribution margin ratio in the break-even equation, as shown here. Break-even point in euros sold equals fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio in percentage. The break-even point is also frequently identified using a break-even chart. The vertical axis represents money, and the horizontal axis is the number of units. The cost line starts on the vertical axis at the level of fixed costs and goes up with the number of units because of the variable cost. The sales line starts at the origin and goes up with the number of units. The point where sales and cost lines intersect is the break-even point, and you have no profits and no losses. Once the break-even point has been determined, the debate shifts to assessing how difficult reaching this point is. One way is comparing this target with the production capacity of the business or the size of the market. If the break-even occurs at or near the capacity, or if a large market share needs to be captured, then the strategy is called into question. Another way to use the break-even analysis is changing the values of the equation variables. This is called sensitivity analysis, or what-if analysis. It looks at the change in the break-even point when fixed costs, variable costs, and prices change. Playing with these variables allows managers to think about their options in a more structured way.